a powerful civilization of alien creatures ruled the Earth millions of years before us. That says at least the Silurian hypothesis. And we look in this video times together whether there is evidence that another intelligent species, perhaps even aliens, lived long before mankind on this planet or that there may even be traces of it. If you like it then I am galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment, because this will make the YouTube algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thanks a lot guys and welcome. I'm sure there are some Doctor Who fans among you, right? Feel free to write me in the comments if you know the series and if you are fans. I would be interested. If so, you surely know the Silurians, who are a species of reptiloids in Doctor Who, who inhabited the Earth as an intelligent species long before mankind. After exactly this Doctor Who species the Sila hypothesis or Silurian hypothesis is named, thus the idea that there could have been perhaps also in the reality before mankind already other civilization on the Earth. I knew it. Astro Tim believes in lizard people. The whole consideration has explicitly nothing to do with the conspiracy theory, we would be ruled by lizard people or something. Nice it would be, maybe that would be better than the current government. In any case, researchers have actually looked at the idea of a previous civilization in a purely scientific way. A paper appeared in the Journal of Astrobiology in which astrophysics professor Frank and NASA researcher Gavin Schmidt worked out in detail whether we could ever discover such a previous species. First, basically on the likelihood of this scenario occurring at all. In itself it does not seem improbable that several intelligent species develop on a planet in the course of the time. Our Earth is already whole 4 to 5 billion years old. As far as we know, the life exists also already very long. One could prove that already before scarcely 3.7 billion years the first microbes developed. So life has existed for 3.7 billion years. Mankind exists in its modern form only since about 200,000 years and our present civilization still much shorter. Our modern life is only a blink of an eye in the course of Earth's history. So let's hold on, mankind exists only since a few hundred thousand years, but life on Earth already since a few billion years. So you don't have to have too much imagination to think it is at least basically possible that humans were not the first species on planet Earth to develop a consciousness and build a civilization. Maybe it's like the Star Trek episode, with the what, intelligent dinosaurs who relocated from Earth to another planet. <laughs> All not exactly super probable, but also not impossible and therefore it is very interesting that I researchers just times more exactly with it occupied. How we could prove the Sila hypothesis then? Would there be any residues of such a civilization that we could track down? Depending on how long such a species lived before us humans, we could unfortunately not simply dig up their buildings, like archaeologists do. Or if it was very long ago, not even find fossils just below the surface of the earth, but we would have to look for very, very deep geological imprints. The research paper states, when it comes to direct evidence of industrial civilization, the geologic record goes back no further than 2.6 million years ago go back much further and everything is overturned and ground to dust. So we're not likely to accidentally stumble upon abandoned underground reptiloid cities, as shown in the scientifically accurate documentary Iron Sky 2, because if there were such a thing, it would have just been ground to dust long ago by the passage of time. But maybe there are other residues that are still preserved. To find out it helps to imagine which residues of us humans alien scientists would still find in the distant future in millions of years. What residue would our civilization leave behind that would outlast time? In fact, we collectively leave behind a great many traces that would even still be there once all our buildings have long since decayed. The use of fertilizers, for example, means that we are diverting the planet's nitrogen flows into food production. Future researchers might be able to tell this from the characteristics of nitrogen in Earth sediments from our time. The same is true for rare earths that are in our smartphones. Because of us, many more of these atoms are now wandering around on the planet's surface instead of in the earth, and this can just be definitively detected later in the sediments. The same is true for microplastic deposits. So our civilization definitely leaves traces in the sediments that an untrained eye would never notice, but futuristic alien geologists would definitely be able to detect. 
So if you try to consciously avoid plastic, you're making it very, very difficult for alien biologists. So that means that all we have to do is look for just such geological signatures to maybe find a civilization that lived before us. If there were other ancient advanced species to find, we could discover this by studying elemental and compositional anomalies in the sedimentary record. Of course, how easy this is also depends extremely on how long such a civilization existed. For a species that dominated the planet for over 100,000 or even millions of years would of course have been much more clearly immortalized in the sediment than a species that existed only very briefly and then wiped itself out in a nuclear war. Whereas the nuclear war would probably also be detectable by measuring radioactive decay in the sediment. What species would be so stupid as to nuke itself? And is there any such evidence in Earth history? For example, a violent temperature increase, which can be dated to a point in time for about 56 million years, could be considered. At that time, the Earth went through the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum, good word for Scrabble, during which the average temperature on Earth climbed up to 15 degrees above today's level. It was a world completely devoid of ice, as summer temperatures were so high that even the North and South Poles melted completely, perhaps climate change triggered by an ancient species, reptiloid lizard people who only ever drove to their climate meetings in SUVs. More likely not. There are two hints that this thermal maximum may have been triggered by a massive release of buried fossil carbon into the air. But the whole process took hundreds of thousands of years. So this sounds suspiciously like a natural process, not evidence of a Silurian civilization. You could also say, the isotope peaks we see in the geologic record are not peaked enough to fit the Silurian hypothesis. So, that there were actually other intelligent civilizations that ruled planet Earth at one time seems rather unlikely to me personally. But to deal with the Silurian hypothesis is nevertheless very interesting because it helps us perhaps also with the better understanding of the evolution on other planets, on exoplanets. Adam Frank comments, by asking about civilizations lost in the depths of time, we also raise the question of the possibility of universal rules governing the evolution of all biospheres in their full creative potential, including the emergence of civilizations. Now I would be very interested in your assessment. Is there any truth to the Silurian hypothesis? Was there once another intelligent species on Earth? And if so, what happened to them? Write me your opinion super gladly here in the comments, maybe we get an exciting discussion going. I'll try to respond to as much as I can, I promise. It's also exciting to think about whether life could have once existed on other planets in our solar system, and surprisingly, Venus is literally a hot candidate. Few people know this, but we actually have real footage and sounds of the Venus surface because decades ago Soviet robots landed there. These sounds are a bit spooky and will absolutely blow your mind, we promise. So be sure to visit the next video again, it's very exciting. And if you want to support the channel a little bit, then click on the store button. There you get t-shirts, plush planets. Every purchase helps me. Otherwise I would say, see you in the next video. Take care guys.